Hi, and welcome to the session on identity verification and work safety with Amazon Recognition. My name is Kashi Firman, and I'm a principal solutions architect in AWS. I work with a large number of AWS customers who are taking advantage of machine learning to solve really interesting and complex business problems. In today's session, we'll get started with a quick introduction of Amazon Recognition. We will then dive deep into personal protective equipment detection as well as identity verification use cases. You will also hear from ICFIS on how they're able to leverage Amazon recognition for student identification in large-scale online testing scenarios. So let's get started. Amazon recognition is a computer vision service that makes it easy to add image and video analysis to your applications. It uses proven, highly scalable deep learning technology and does not require any machine learning expertise to use Amazon recognition. With Amazon recognition, you can detect objects, people, text, scene, and activities in images and videos, as well as detect inappropriate content. Amazon recognition provides highly accurate facial analysis and facial search capabilities which allows you to detect, analyze, and compare faces for a wide variety of use cases. Amazon Recognition Custom Labels allows you to detect objects which are very specific to your business domain. Let's look at some of the common applications of Amazon Recognition. Customers across a wide variety of industries are able to leverage Amazon Recognition for many uh, interesting use cases. For workplace security and safety, for example, by automating PPE at scale, customers are able to improve uh, workplace safety practices as well as comply with any of the regulations, for example. For identity verification, customers are able to implement large-scale authentication workflows uh, for automated payment processing, for example. For media analysis, customers are able to leverage Amazon recognition to streamline several media analysis tasks, such as ad insertion, content operations and production, search and discovery, as well as flagging inappropriate content. By detecting and identifying parts and different components, as well as anomaly detection, customers are able to build scalable workflows for industrial automation use cases. During the difficult times of COVID-19, many of these use cases have become absolutely critical for business continuity. Next, we'll dive deep into two of such use cases. We'll first look at PPE detection, and then we'll look at student identification under the umbrella of uh, identity verification and how student identification can be done for online testing uh, at large scale. So let's look at uh, PPE detection. With Amazon recognition PPE detection, you can analyze images from your on-premises cameras and detect whether people in those images are wearing required PPE, for example, helmets, face masks, and gloves. With the information, you can generate timely alerts, for example, to inform people to wear PPE to maintain and improve safety practices as well as comply with any of the regulations. Amazon Recognition PPE Detection API performs a detailed analysis of the image and returns information such as bounding box information and confidence score for people that are detected in, in the image as well as the detected PPE. It also returns confidence score for different body parts that are detected and a Boolean value and a confidence score showing whether that body part is covered by the detected PPE or not. Let's see how as a developer, you can quickly take advantage of the Amazon recognition PPE detection API. On the left side of the screen, you see the JSON for request. So PPE detection API accepts JPEG and PNG images as input. You can send those images as S3 objects or as raw byte. You can also take advantage of an optional summarization attribute, which allows you to get a summary in the response about which of the people detected in the image are wearing or not wearing the required PPE, for example. On the right side, you see the JSON response from the PPE detection API, which shows you get 
a list of people which are detected. And then for each person, you get a list of body parts, such as uh, face, head, left hand, and right hand. And then uh, for each one of those parts, the detected PPE, and whether those parts are covered by the PPE or not. Uh, one thing I would like to highlight here is that Amazon Recognition PPE Detection API detects the people, but it is not doing any sort of facial recognition. So it will not tell you specifically who this person is. It's only identifying people in the images, and then body parts, and then whether those are covered by the PPE, uh, the, by the required equipment or not. Next, lo next, let's look at a couple of demos uh, to see the PPE API in action. Now let's look at a quick demo of PPE detection uh, API in the AWS console. So here I'm in the AWS console for Amazon recognition, and specifically in the PPE detection section you see an image on the left, which has a couple of people wearing helmets as well as face masks. And note they don't have any uh, hand covering such as gloves. As this image is analyzed with the PPE detection API, the output is rendered on the right side of the screen. So you can see in this case, recognition is able to detect different people. And for each person, it's listing different body parts that are detected. For example, in this case, uh, for the person in the blue dress, the person is detected with 99% confidence. Their face is detected with 99% confidence. Uh, we know that they have a face covering, and this face covering is on the nose uh, with a 99.7% confidence. It's also listing other body parts, and if there is any covering detected uh, for those. On the top, you see summarization results. In this case, when we calling the API, we're saying we are only interested in the face cover as the required equipment, because all of them are wearing a face mask. In this case, you can see all the IDs for these people is returned in a person with required equipment IDs. If any one of those was not requiring a mask, then that ID would have returned in the list with persons without the required equipment IDs. Next, let's see how easy it is to integrate PPE detection API into your application by taking advantage of the AWS SDK. So for this example, we'll just use the same image we just saw earlier in the AWS console. And here we're gonna use the Python SDK. As a developer, you have the choice to use a wide variety of AWS SDKs, whether it's Java, Python, .NET, uh, Ruby, and, and so on. Uh, so in this case, we're using Python SDK. So here I have my image. We go ahead and read that image. Then we create <coughs> initialize a recognition client. And then using that client, we call the detect protective equipment API by passing the image as raw bytes. You also have the option to send that image as raw as S3 object. After the PPE detection API, processes the image, it returns the response as JSON. And then we can go ahead and extract different pieces of information that were interested from that JSON response uh, and process it. Let me go ahead and run this sample. So in this case, uh, it's calling the recognition PP API, got the JSON response back, and you can see it detected different people for each person. It detected different body parts along with confidence scores and so on. Next, let's look at a sample implementation of our demo solution, which allows you to quickly use a web application with your webcam, take those sample frames, and test those with Amazon Recognition's PPE API. If you scroll down on the repos page, you see the steps on how you can deploy the solution. I have already went through the steps and deployed it in my AWS account. As the application is deployed, it sends you an email with the URL to the web application, which is deployed as part of this demo solution, as well as the credentials to log into that web app. I have that web app uh, running in the second tab here. I have already logged into it, as well as gave my browser the permissions for this web app to access my webcam. Let me go ahead and click start, and you'll see it will start taking frames from my webcam and start analyzing them with the PPE API. In this case, you can see it's detecting a person. Let me go ahead and put a hat on, and you can see it's detecting that I have a head cover with very good, uh, uh, very high confidence score. Next, let me go ahead and put a face mask on. 
In this case, you can see it's detecting that I have a face cover uh, with very high confidence score. Let me go ahead and move, move the face mask below the nose. And you can see it's able to recognize that I have a face cover, but it's not covering my face with a very high confidence score. Next, let's look at a sample reference architecture that shows how you can deploy PPE detection in your organization. Depending on your use case, your camera setup and environment, you can use different techniques, such as extracting frames from your on-premises cameras at certain frequency. You can use higher frequency, for example, for busier or important sites, or you can extract frames at a lower frequency for sites which are not that busy. You can also extract frames, for example, from recorded video, and then those frames can uh, be sent to an S3 bucket. As part of that S3 object, you can also store additional metadata, such as the location of the camera, the time at which the frame was taken, and so on. Those images can then very easily be processed using very simple serverless architecture with Amazon Recognition PPE Detection API. Based on the results, you can generate near real-time notifications, or you can generate uh, aggregate audit report, for example, for compliance and auditing purposes. Many of the AWS customers and partners have been able to take advantage of the PPE detection API. Rebel Foods, for example, their CTO Amit Gupta told us that uh, PPE detection posed one of the most difficult challenges uh, as they strive to deliver food safely to their customers during these difficult times. By integrating PPE detection into their mobile application, they are now able to detect whether employees are able are wearing face mask, for example, when they pick up orders from kitchen to deliver to the customers. Next, let's look at identity verification. Let's start with some of the core features of Amazon recognition, which can help enable many of the identity verification related use cases. First, we'll talk about face detection API. With Amazon Recognition Face Detection API, you can detect faces in images and videos. The API returns information such as the bounding box uh, location for the faces in the image, as well as the confidence score. It also provides additional facial attributes and things such as facial pose. Um, the Face Detection API also provides information about image quality, such as brightness and sharpness. You can use these facial attributes and image quality, for example, to determine if the face, uh, if the image meets certain quality bar, for example. Next, Amazon Recognition provides highly accurate facial search and face compare APIs. By using face search API, you can compare uh, and identify faces in images and videos against a private repository of face images. By using face compare API, you can compare a face in an image with all the other faces in, in another image. Both of these APIs return similarity score, which is the confidence value representing the face match. Customers across a wide variety of industries from financial all the way to education sector have been able to take advantage of Amazon recognition uh, face APIs uh, to power uh, different, very interesting and powerful use cases, all the way going from, for example, prepayment authentication or identity authentication or know your customer scenarios. For example, when there are use cases where uh, maybe based on some of the compliance reasons, customers, when they are opening an account or they're making certain transactions, they have to identify themselves and in many cases need to be uh, on location. But now by taking advantage of these uh, identity verification, uh, scenarios by leveraging Amazon Recognition APIs, uh, customers are able to do that identification uh, remotely, for example. Uh, the CTO of Ella Credit uh, told us that by leveraging Amazon Recognition for identity verification in their mobile application, they were able to reduce errors in user identifications uh, by a large number. Uh, this helped us, uh, this helped them uh, identify users very quickly and able to bring their products to their customers at a much faster pace, as well as help scale them uh, very quickly. Customers in the education sector, as well as partners, have been able to build solution uh, which helps them 
uh, identify students in large-scale online testing scenarios, for example. Let's hear from Dr. Monica, who's the general director at ICFIS, to see how ICFIS have been able to take advantage of Amazon recognition for student verification in large-scale online testing. Hi, my name is Monica Ospina. I am a PhD in economics, and I am the executive director of the Colombian Institute for Educational Assessment and Evaluation, also known as ICFES. ICFES is a public institution attached to the Ministry of Education in Colombia. For more than 50 years, ICFES has been designing, building, applying, and qualifying a standardized test that measures education quality in Colombia. We evaluate nearly 2 million students at various levels of education each year. We offer four main services, standardized tests, including national mandated tests for students at elementary, middle, and high school. We have a test similar to the SAT in the United States called Saber 11, used for admission for, to higher education. We also provide testing for completing undergraduate degrees. Second, we manage international accreditation tests such as PISA. Third, we provide consulting services to design frameworks for public and private institutions. And finally, we do research to improve education policy in Colombia. With COVID-19, we face the challenge on how to provide a safe and secure testing experience for students while maintaining the high quality standards that both students and institutions expect from ICFES. ICFES used to offer paper-based tests at, at testing centers for more than 2,000 students at the same time and location. With COVID-19, we were unable to continue business as usual and began to look to virtual options. We started by looking at one of our national tests called SAVIRTIT, a five-hour test that measures language, quantitative, and writing communication skills for students ready to graduate from vocational and technical training programs. This test evaluates 100,000 students during the first semester of the year. Although online testing was a clear alternative to face our challenge, there were other aspects we had to consider when offering this large-scale standardized test. First, we know that not everyone can attend a testing facility, including those that live in remote areas or have disabilities. So how can we serve students unable to physically take the test in traditional testing centers? Second, we also have to consider that saber Teite is a legal requirement for graduation. Therefore, we have to offer a solution for test takers according to the national academic calendar. Third, we also have to guarantee that test results are comparable for a 12-year time period. So how we can provide our test without compromising its statistical standards? Finally, we have a fixed budget to operate the test that was estimated for a significant number of test takers, but under very different circumstances. All these aspects together means that we have to provide an accessible, comparable, secure, cost-efficient, and productive testing environment at scale. Let us now look at the solution we used and how Amazon recognition helped us with a secure experience by providing online student identification and verification for this large-scale test. Our students use a learning management system, also called LMS, to register and take the exam. We partnered with Sumadi, a proctoring solution, an Amazon Web Services partner that integrated the LMS to provide a seamless experience for students. During the registration for the exam, Sumadi Solution asks students to provide a few reference photos and a valid picture ID using their webcam. It then uses Amazon recognition to validate the match between both of them. Then during the exam, Amazon recognition helps us to compare 
and confirm that the same student is taking the test. Sumadi provides real-time notifications to avoid potentially fraudulent activity. Let's look at the results. Again, the odds were able to achieve a high level of integrity with this online test. As we observe in the graph, the students in the online version achieved the same consistent results as compared to four previous years of students completing the same test in testing centers. Online testing also helped us achieve our business objectives. We covered 10 times more cities than online testing that we did before. With paper-based tests, we served 85 cities. Now, with online testing, we serve 912 cities. Students' test scores obtained under online proctoring keep the desirable statistical quality properties for standardized tests. We achieve a continuous testing experience despite the COVID-19 challenges so that the students could have their graduation on time. We conducted 72,000 simultaneous tests with a maximum of 18,000 concurrent students. In less than a couple of months, we executed a scalable online solution within our budget and time constraints. So what's next? With Amazon recognition, we are now able to reach more students than even before. Ensure a secure test-taking experience and verify student identity at a large scale while maintaining the high quality and integrity required by standardized testing. Our next steps include both rolling out this solution to acquire a million students by the end of 2020 and leveraging Amazon recognition object detention to identify potentially fraudulent behaviors that could interfere with test-taking experience. In 2021, we intend to implement online versions for a variety of other standardized tests. Thank you, you all for your attention. And I leave you now with Kachip, who will conclude this intervention. Thank you, Dr. Monica. Really awesome success story. Uh, really great to hear that. Uh, now let's look at under the hood and see how a solution similar to what ICFIS used can be built using different Amazon recognition APIs. Usually it's a two-step process. In the first step, which is the student onboarding or registration. During that process, a student can provide one or more of their images that will be used as a reference image. As part of that process, you can take advantage of the Amazon recognition's face detection API to identify the face in the image, as well as get additional facial attributes and image quality attributes. This helps you to make sure that the image meets certain quality bar uh, as a reference so it can be used uh, later for the comparison purposes. Next, as the student logs in and continue to take the exam, uh, the solution can continue to extract frames from the webcam, for example, and then compare those images using the face compare API of Amazon recognition against the reference image, which was taken during the student onboarding or registration process. The face compare API in this case returns a similarity score, which helps you uh, identify and see that the face is a match against the reference image and it is indeed the same student uh, who was registered for the exam. Face compare API also provide an input parameter called quality filter. This quality filter allows you to filter any of the detected faces which do not match, match uh, uh, a certain uh, quality bar, uh, for example. For high precision, you should set the quality filter uh, to high and use a similarity score to a higher value such as 95% or higher. As you continue to analyze those frames uh, during the exam, those frames can then, those, that analysis results along with the frame can be stored to generate an online assessment audit report. So here you see an example audit report where you can see as the exam start, uh, all the face compare API results telling us that this is indeed the same student who registered for the exam. Somewhere through the exam, we see that the person who's taking the exam is not a different same person. And in fact, uh, the face compare API is giving us a similarity score. They're telling us that this is a different person 
for a certain part of that exam. So using some of these, these uh, face compare API events, then you can either generate real-time notification, for example, for a proctor to look at the stream, uh, as well as uh, this report can be reviewed, for example, after the exam uh, if needed. Next, let's look at a sample reference architecture, which shows how you can use Amazon Recognition's face APIs along with some of the additional Amazon Recognition APIs, such as Labels API, to detect objects of interest, such as cell phones. Uh, you can also use Amazon Recognition custom labels to identify any additional custom objects that you're interested in, and so on. So by combining these different APIs as the solution extract frames from the, the exam's stream, it can then analyze those results, generate real-time notifications if Proctor needs to look into the exam, as well as generate the assessment audit report, which can be later reviewed. Now let's look at a sample implementation of the reference architecture we just saw. Here I'm in the AWS Samples GitHub repo for the demo solution on virtual proctoring. This solution allows you to quickly use a web application to access the webcam, uh, grab those frames, analyze them using different recognition APIs, and shows you the output quickly within that web app. Now to deploy the solution, if you scroll down on the page, you have the option to deploy it in your AWS account. I have already gone through the steps and deployed the solution in my AWS account. Once the solution is deployed, it sends you an email with the URL to the web application that gets deployed as part of that solution, as well as the credentials to access that web app. I have that web app uh, open here is in, in another tab. I have logged into the, it, as well as gave my browser the permissions to access my webcam. Now, if I go ahead and click on Start Virtual Proctor, you can see it's taking frames from my webcam, analyzing them using different recognition APIs and showing the output on the right side of the screen. So far, it has not detected any objects of interest. More specifically, we're looking for things such as cell phones. It has detected a person. It doesn't know who that person is because we haven't registered any users in the system yet. And it can see that there is no unsafe content in the stream. Now, let me go ahead and grab my cell phone. You can see as my cell phone comes, it's able to detect that and show it on the right side. Now let me go ahead and add myself uh, into the solution. So I'll go ahead and add my name and I will select one of my pictures as the reference image. I'm gonna use this image uh, as a reference and I'll go ahead and click add user. So as a user is added to the solution, you can see a solution is quickly able to recognize that there is a person and who that person is. So as you saw, Amazon Recognition makes it very easy to add image and video analysis to your application. It uses proven, highly scalable deep learning technology and does not require any machine learning expertise to use Amazon Recognition's APIs. You can get started quickly with the SDK of uh, the programming choice uh, that you're interested in, for example, either Java, .NET, Python, Node.js, et cetera, and start programming against Amazon Recognition APIs to build really powerful and smart applications. Here are a couple of additional resources that you can use, including the developer guides and a blog on the PPE detection, which dives deeper into a little bit about the use case as well as provide some code samples on, for example, how you can extract frames from RTSP or HTTPS stream or from a, a recorded video and then process them using PPE detection API in Amazon recognition. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the session and a happy reInvent.